What's going on, TW fans? Jake here again this week with What's New Attack Warehouse, showing you all the new inventory we got. Some of the other guys are out sick, so I'm just filling in this week. Hopefully, you're getting out there. Now's the time to catch the biggest fish of the year, you know, early, early spring, middle of winter. So, the first couple things we got here, actually, the first one we got is from Lucky Craft. So, this is the new Lightning Pointer 110 SP. So, if you're familiar with the Lightning Pointer, we carry this in a few sizes, and this is already a, a phenomenal jerk bait. Lucky Craft makes some of the jerk best trick baits out there on the market. Uh, this 110 SP is now a full suspending model. So the original 110 SP, uh, 110, Lightning Pointer 110 that we carried was a slow floating model. A floating model. Now this one perfectly suspends when you pause it. So, um, you know, got special brass weights in there so they slide to the tail. You get great cast in it. This is actually a lot heavier than most of the other jerk baits uh, around the same size. So cast like a bullet. Um, one thing that's unique to the Lightning Pointer is the, the action on the startup to it. So for each twitch, as soon as it starts to swim, it actually rolls side to side. So it's not just a hard dart. So you actually get that, uh, you get that, that swimming motion incorporated into the darts as well. And it goes up, down, left, right, all over the place. Super erratic. Gets down to about six to seven feet. So a little bit deeper than most of the other jerk baits on the market as well. Three super sharp hooks on there. Uh, if you're looking for new jerk bait, especially coming up early spring, this is going to be the one you want to check out. All right. For all the guys who like to flip and punch and throw the throw big baits down on those mats with braided line and stuff, we got the new Gambler Stinger 5.5 inch. So they had the original four and a half inch or four and a quarter inch, which is a great bait. Uh, they just made a beefed up model, so now full five and a half inches, really big profile, kind of kind of target those bigger bigger fish, you know, get those bigger bites, especially during tournaments. Um, you know, it's got the the side appendages, it's got a lot of ribbing on there that traps air, creates a unique bubble trail big flappers on there and it is loaded with uh, gamblers bite scent on there. So really strong, a lot of garlic in it. Um, you know, all the guys down south, you know, everyone down south in Florida, they flip and punch and catch fish all year. You know, that's going to be something you want to throw in the arsenal for the bigger fish. All right, for Mega Bass, we got a super cool new blade bait. So, uh, you know, now's the time to be throwing these and the middle, you know, middle of winter water is really cold. We got the new Vibration X Dyna Response Blade Blade. So, Super cool blade bait. Um, you know, as always with Mega Bass, there's so much engineering that goes into these things. It's stamped out of a 0 .06 or yeah, 0 .6 millimeter uh, piece of stainless steel, and the weight on it is actually the weighting on it is very specifically sculpted. So when you throw this in the water and you start reeling it, uh, this, the action starts immediately. So there's no there's no lag. It starts vibrate. It starts vibrating and gets you know really hard vibrating action, similar to like a lipless crankbait. And this actually produces a ton of flash as well. Um, one of the other key features too, as you can see here on the back, it's got hand tied uh, like uh, flash material on the back. And what that does, it not only does it give a little flicker to it, it actually protects this hook from going up and over and fouling your line on the cast or when you're yo-yoing it. Um, they, they have some really cool underwater footage of this thing when they're snapping it up off the bottom and it wants to go head down and that, you know, that hook's trying to foul that line and that stuff stops it immediately. Uh, really cool. So you're not going to have as many, you know, wasted casts with a, with a fouled up bait and having to reel it back and you're kind of burning the area. Um, you know, super sticky treble hooks on there. Um, you know, high quality uh, snap on the top. You know, everything from Mega Bass is top notch. The, the colors are outstanding. 3D eyes, just the way they, they do all the details. You want to check that guy out from Mega Bass. All right, next up from DNL Tackle, we got the new DNL Swimbait Head. So these come in two colors. They come in just a plain lead, and then they come in white, and they're left, uh, you know, kind of unfinished. Uh, super sharp hook on there. What's cool about these is you're gonna get, since they're kind of unfinished, and you you can paint them up whatever color you want. You're gonna get a few more heads per pack uh, versus some of the other uh, swimbait heads on the market. So uh, great for especially if you're rigging up umbrella rigs. You know, you got to put a lot of lot of terminal on those things, and if you just want like a custom color that you, know, you can't find out there, I mean, you can run them by themselves. I run just a plain lead all the time. Great new swim bait head there by DNL Tackle. All right, next up from MDX Boat Products, we got a couple bump board holders. So we got the Pack Rat bump board holder and then the Pack Rat Pro bump board holder and tool holder. So just a little backstory on the guy who makes these. He's a local from the area and he actually builds a you know custom Baja racing truck. So these things are super high quality built. Um, he's also built a few custom, he's custom things for Jared Littner's boat over the years. So if you got a boat that doesn't have a bump board holder and you fish tournaments and you're just wasting time going in and out of uh, in and out of compartments, always trying to get your ruler out and you know, measure fish, 
you can install these anywhere. They, they come with the hardware and they got, got all the directions on how to install them on your boat. So just have quick access to your bump board holder and uh, just save a lot of time, especially during tournament situations. All right, a couple more boat products we got here. Uh, these are from DD26, so we got their steering locks and uh, these things, everything they got from D we got from DD26 is super high quality built, made from uh, made from aircraft grade aluminum. Uh, you know these steering clips aren't you know they're not cheap plastic. You know they're not gonna, they're not going to rot and you know just chip and you know fall apart over time. Uh, come with a you know a, a coated cable to connect them. You know everything's crimped. You know, super high quality, and you know you're just you're not going to be able to beat these things up and and hurt them. So they're going to last you a lifetime. And then we also got the DD26 um, transom mount savers. You know, uh, motor toters. So we got them from Mercury's and Yamaha's at the mo at the moment. Same thing, all 6061 aircraft grade aluminum. And if you ever welded anything and you look at these, you know it's they're beautiful welds. These are just a lot of craftsmanship goes into these. They're, these aren't cheap, like you know, like cheap other transom mount savers. These are built to last and built to last the lifetime of your boat. Um, so if you're looking for something, you know, protect your motor, you definitely want to have one of these on every boat. Just um, protects the transom and just protects all your equipment back there, all your uh, your trim rods and all that stuff. So check out all the new stuff we got from DD26. All right, from Savage Gear, we got three new rods. So we've been waiting for these to come in since iCast. So we got three series, everything from 89 bucks all the way to 299. So the first one here is their Squad Series of rods. Um, all the casting rods come in at 89 bucks, except the swim bait rods, I think, come in at 139. So this is built on a 30-ton graphite blank. It's got carbon fiber wrap over it. Super cool camo handle, really comfortable. Um, it's got sea guide guides on it, and then there's also a sea guide reel seat. So for 89 bucks, really hard to beat. Oh, it's also got um, Savage's DFR tip technology on there, so all the on all the rods feature that as well. So the tips are all reinforced, super strong to protect, you know, from high sticking, flipping uh, fish in the boat, or just, you know, you know, flipping into ponds and anything like that. You're just gonna have a lot more protection on the tip of the rod and overall increase the lifespan of it. Next one we got here is a new Battletech series. So these are built on 36 ton graphite blanks. So just a little bit more refined, a little bit lighter, a little bit more sensitive. Um, still has the sea guide reel seat and the guides on there. So it's extremely comfortable. Um, really good quality rod. And then the last one we got here is the, um, is the Black Op series. So the Black Op series is built on a 46 ton graphite. Um, it's got a, a custom reel seat on it. It's also got Fuji titanium guides um, with SIC inserts on them. So they're extremely lightweight. I mean, it, it's only got to weigh an, an ounce or two. When you put it in your hand, it feels amazing. A uh, really cool rod by, by Savage Gear. Again, just like the other rods, it's got the DFR tip technology, so really durable. You're not gonna have to worry about, uh, you know, with it being brittle and, and flipping fish over the boat or anything like that. All right, that's all we got for you today. For more information or purchase products seen here today, make sure to click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most excited about.